This is a video I never contemplated I'd be making in a million years because I never thought of something like that occurring. I don't feel like making videos sometimes at the best of times. I go through my own stuff. I think everybody can relate to that, especially creative people. We go through phases. However, I've gone through this once before and it was in 2009 when Michael Jackson passed away. Um, in recent days it was very sad for me to discover that one of my childhood heroes lost his life um, in the last week. I didn't know about it, I found out a week later. Normally I hear about something happening to an artist straight away because of web news, stuff gets around really fast through the grapevine of the internet, whether it's through Facebook, Google, just YouTube, anything, Insta, wherever you go, you're bound to find something out. I was avoiding too much social media recently and I was trying to throw myself into a creative project, into focusing on my creative things so I wouldn't you know have to deal with some of the sad stuff that's going on in the world right now because you know needless to say and to hide that there is a lot of chaos out there at the moment so I just had enough of all that and together with the information I come across during my social justice activism it does get emotionally and mentally a little bit too much and for somebody who cares deeply about things like that, yeah, it, you need to take a break for your own sanity so you can survive. So that's what I decided to do. And for about a week, it still didn't feel right on Facebook. It just felt strange. I was getting a really weird vibe and I didn't quite know what it was. I don't have too many contacts on there, but I still wasn't aware of what had happened. Um, one day I opened Instagram this week and I noticed an announcement from this artist's account that said, we are very sorry to and sad to announce the passing of Adolfo Shabadu. Quinones, I was like really shocked because to me this guy was someone who was such a strong part of my memories as a child first moving from Europe to come to Australia and live indefinitely and not knowing a lot about the pop culture here or anything it took some adjustment and Shabadu was one of the first people I came to form a bond with if you like as a kid he was my hero my idol and through films like Breaking and Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo he became such a creative outlet for me such an inspiration I was interested straight away in street dance and break dance and I did try to learn some myself I was involved in the performing arts and my first play that I did at school in year eight was based on street dance and it was inspired heavily by those scenes by artists like Shabadoo and Boogaloo Shrimp so it was quite a shock to me to find out that Shabadoo had passed because I had looked him up about a year ago on social media and there he was. I started following him. It was nice keeping up with him. It was a beautiful vibe, a positive vibe, something to look forward to other than the sad social justice related things I normally keep up with. So yeah, he was something warm and positive to look forward to and he seemed like such a kind and gentle 
man, he was a very, a clear break, a far cry from the rest of the world, from what's going on at the moment. I mean, this is a person who started in, in street dance, who had a very difficult and challenging beginning, according to him, at the projects, with his mum, who was a single parent, bringing up two children. So he didn't have the easiest of lives, but he still excelled. He managed to make the most with what he had, to make something out of his talent, his interest in dance, to become an icon, really, for the 80s. Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional. It's going to be, it's it's raw for me still because I only found out, sorry, just over 24 hours ago. Um, and I haven't quite been the same. I've been quite sad, to be honest with you. And it's something that hurts very deeply. Sorry. Because this man was truly an icon, not just for me, but for all the people in the 80s who loved music, the street, street dance scene and who liked to dream big because it was kind of, look at guys like Ozone and Turbo, they, they made it, doesn't matter how humble the beginnings were and as ethnic kids who also were coming across a lot of racism in the performing arts. If your heart was set in the performing arts, Yes, you would have come across this discrimination that was clear and evident. There were no roles, there were no spaces, no welcoming positions and opportunities for ethnic people, even in Australia, not just America. So for, you know, I think Shabadoo represented all of us in a big way, our dreams, plus the way that he was able to achieve what quite often ethnic people were not achieving at the time. It was quite a big deal, quite unusual for somebody of colour or of ethnicity to achieve such a high degree of success, to score such a big role in a major film that became a blockbuster. So, you see, when you hear of people grieving over their uh, favourite artist and you don't quite know what it is and you think it's strange well how do you know this person this person was a stranger to you why do you care you see it is what the celebrity the star the icon represents for the particular individual so in my case I always feel very sorry when I hear about anybody passing you know especially people who offered so much to the world and entertained the world and took a lot of flat in return because we're so relentless with our stars we we expect so much of them really we make heroes just to bring them down we're just very mean humans are very mean and um so we owe so much to them because they keep us entertained and they give us a vehicle to dream yet at the same time we are almost their enemies, their fans and their enemies at the same time. But um, Shabadoo was one of those people who might not have been a millionaire like your average star that has millions of armies following them. And of course it's sad to always hear about people like rock stars and other successful artists who passed away either because of illness or personal tragedy or the pressures of fame or a lot of things. Uh, yes, it's very sad to hear about iconic people who were there to entertain the crowds. However, for me, at such deep level, only two people touched me and that was Michael and now Shabadoo because these two people were the first and admiration points for me the first people I came to really really love as artists and look up to um, when I arrived in Australia to live indefinitely I have pointed out in other videos that I was born here but when I was very young I went to live with my family overseas in Europe and we returned uh, so I can we can live here indefinitely when I was just before I turned 12 and immediately I was yeah um, t 
taken in they immediately i was drawn to the street dance scene to the music scene to black culture black music um in people like whitney and michael and other artists eddie murphy as a comedian but my favorite favorite stars that i held to such high degree and admiration were definitely MJ and Shabadoo. So it's very sad for me, you know, to have started following him on Facebook. I kept a low profile because I was embarrassed to actually bombard him with explanations of what he meant to me. Yet another um, person he influenced and held iconic status for. I think it's very well known what exactly Shabadoo and Boogaloo Shrimp came to represent for the street dance genre. It, it, it was starting off as a sort of smaller niche sort of alternative scene and people thought it wasn't gonna last very long but if you hear Shabadoo talk about it, since then he believed in it, he knew it was for real and here to stay. and. Yeah, sorry, it's very hard to talk about it, but I wanted to talk about it while it was still fresh and raw because I think that's when the most um, thoughts come out, you, you, everything floods out, although it's not exactly doing that at the moment. I'm having a hard time, as you can see, I'm struggling. Um, so yeah, Shabadoo believed that um, street dance was here to stay, and, and it was, breakdance is here to stay, it's still going strong, uh, it hasn't gone anywhere. But these are the guys who laid down the foundations for this wonderful uh, scene. And um, yeah, it was really awesome to follow somebody who was one of my childhood heroes on social media and hear from him and to see his kind and positive uh, vibe and attitude. He was very spiritually aware. He was very respectful to what is going on currently at the moment with the COVID situation and he was very sorry about that. He was very mindful to be um, very safe, to practice safety towards others and himself. And he loved his dog very much, his mum very much, who, as I said, really had a hard time bringing up her children as a single parent during very difficult times where the role of ladies was very, um, not as, how can I say, um, encompassing as it is now because women can achieve a lot more now than what they could in the 80s and in the 70s and 60s. So recently Shabadoo's mum um, had become unwell with COVID but um, in her aged care facility they were very careful and took the appropriate steps and she made it through but when Shabadoo announced that his mum was unwell I felt so sad for him I prayed and I, you know because I knew how much he loved his mum and I didn't want him to lose her and she came through this it was all right and we were all so happy this vivacious gorgeous man he was doing quite well as far as I was concerned always wearing his mask in public always you know he even did a video where he showed how you could make your own mask from a bandana if you couldn't access a store bought one just so you can protect yourself and this was at the beginning of COVID he was very careful from the very beginning he really really was and uh, very respectful very dignified he always did the right thing and because he was so observant and safety conscious I never thought that that for a moment he would uh, get sick I know that things are really really bad overseas at the moment in all the countries and even in Australia we had struggled for a little while then we did better and now we're starting with some cases again but pretty much while Shabadoo was um, finishing his studio and uploading photos of his completed studio for recording and streaming and I was so excited to see what his future projects would be all of a sudden he announced I'm sick but I didn't take it too seriously uh, I just thought oh maybe he's got a bit of a sniffle let's see what happens 
um, and then just prior to the new year change on the 30th he uploaded a photo of himself in bed uh, holding a stuffed uh, soft plush toy that uh, a DJ friend had sent him with well wishes and he was saying good news I tested negative for uh, this pandemic he had nested uh, tested three times negative for this pathogen but he was saying I'm doing much better but I'm feeling a little bit sluggish I will get over this though uh, my wonderful dog has been by my side the whole time looking over me I can't wait to catch up with everything and let's go let's push on and then that same night he fell asleep and he didn't wake up and people are wondering what exactly is going on not because they want to be disrespectful and invasive but because at a time of grief and he was loved on a global scale people need to know what exactly happened so they can process the grieving in their mind and come to terms with the loss Shabadoo's legacy is always going to be around we're always going to love him and remember him especially the people of the arts and the dance and the street dance they will not overlook him or forget him they're not about to do that they will always know who this wonderful guy was um i watched his movie after a long time the first time since i was a, a kid pretty much around a year ago part one because that's all i could get a hold of breaking i didn't get a hold of uh, electric boogaloo i've spoken about this in another video i was so excited to watch the film straight away as i saw him my heart flooded because i remembered exactly how handsome i found him even back then and it was so nice to keep up to date with him through his social media and to now know that i will go on facebook or insta and i'm not going to hear from him anymore it's really hard um so Please don't judge people who feel sad by the loss of celebrities. It's not only because he or she, whoever, means something to someone, was a famous person. But for what? Sorry, they signified. But for what they signified for the world, for the arts, and for the person. To me, Shabadoo is someone who helped me make it through tough and challenging times of adjusting from overseas and dealing with discrimination. And I've always been a private person, uh, believe it or not, even though I'm doing this vlogs thing, um, who kept to herself. And I've always been very selective about people I choose to allow to come close to me. I, I have opened up to people of all sorts of walks and paths of life in the past. I, I made wrong choices sometimes and I regretted it. Overall, I'm a very private person. I don't allow uh, people in that often. And since especially this isolation thing, uh, Shabadoo was someone I felt connected to in these times of loneliness. And... The connection was always there since my my childhood but and it will always be there until i pass away myself i will take him with me to the grave but um i'm sure a lot of people i represent a lot of people today when i say that we feel part of us has actually gone part of our childhood has gone with him but he will always be around i'm very sorry for the loss of shabadu I really really am and I know this is a sad video but I felt like I wanted to do it in his honor and to record these initial thoughts of what it feels like 24 hours or a bit over 24 hours after finding out that such a wonderful man passed away he was 65 he looked very youthful he had a very youthful attitude he sounded young he was so fit he didn't smoke or drink alcohol or do any of those things so he was someone who did not abuse his body and i find it all the more harder as to him getting suddenly sick and passing just like that within a matter of a few days please be very mindful with this disease i think from what i read in articles 
in the last 24 hours during my attempt to try and understand what happened to Shabadoo or to reach my own conclusions as I've always been very science oriented and I was pretty good with the sciences in school my understanding is that this pandemic is a lot worse than what we thought it doesn't just cause it doesn't take over the body and then of course if you get a secondary infection by bacteria you get pneumonia and the regular stuff that we know not only does it uh, overtake people whose systems are compromised uh, we we know that as well but we also have come to realize that the medical people not me uh, that also people might be genetically predisposed due to genetic factors to be to succumb more to this uh, disease than others however there are things that are uh, a bit of a puzzle and have formed part of the picture slowly slowly it can cause the loss of organs yeah like what goes on basically if you, things are happening to young and healthy people and they, they couldn't understand why people who are 19 years old and with great immune systems but what happens is the system goes in overdrive it overreacts and it attacks its own organs its its own lungs and so the lungs stop working and the person goes into respiratory failure um, and they stiffen so even when they put them on respirators they still can't cope they can't breathe it can also cause uh, damage to organs like kidneys and hearts that th they think um, and also they have noticed a particular phenomenon of blood clotting which they don't know why this is happening but that is thought to cause heart attacks and strokes in people who are not of stroke age uh, who are 19 or 30 or 40 or 50 but for some reason when they get invaded by this pathogen the, the blood starts to clot and medical staff can't urge enough no matter what country you're in if you're feeling unwell if you start to feel parts of your body go numb please go immediately to the hospital check yourself in because they can investigate it if they find that a stroke is happening in your body they can remove the clot and anything under four hours it can it's good the doctors can get to it if it's more than four hours i read in an article it becomes more challenging for the survival and restoration of a person minutes every minute is important because every minute that you're going through a stroke god forbid your uh, brain is starved of oxygen so you really need to get to a hospital um but you know if doctors see to you immediately they can help you and stop the negative effects and save your life but I remember in this particular case in the article that I was reading they were saying that a young person was experiencing a stroke and the surgeon was getting to it removing the clot and in real time before his eyes another clot was forming at the same time in another area of the brain so they've come to understand that clots are formed and if they're close to the heart you'll have a heart attack if they're close to the brain you can have a stroke and a lot of people are lost through strokes i'm not here to um, draw a conclusion as to what caused the passing of shabadu because as i said he tested negative for this pathogen but that's another thing clinical tests are not as accurate as laboratory tests according to the sources I uh, accessed yesterday and read medical sources uh, because you know with a lab test you get a more accurate result whereas a clinical test can give you negative results when reality could be the contrary you you know someone could be uh, positive for the COVID pathogen so please check yourself in a hospital my um, conclusion is that Shabadoo um, must have suffered a stroke or a heart attack because of this pathogen during the night while he was asleep and he didn't know it and he passed or if if he did and he couldn't move 
to call someone to help him or maybe he wasn't sure what was going on initially and he thought oh, I'll feel better because quite often that's what happens when we feel pain or discomfort we say we'll get better and of course we don't it gets more serious until it's too late maybe that's what happened to him maybe he didn't even know about it and just passed in his sleep I don't know I'm not here to form a medical uh, opinion on what happened to Shabadoo but as somebody who loves him and is a huge fan I think I am allowed to share my own thoughts both on a symbolic level what he symbolized for me and for other people on the arts and on the influence he had in my life on the impact he left mentally and emotionally for me and also what I think took him because I was there hearing from him on a regular basis and I could see what the man was all about in the last year of his life and he seemed like a very positive um, active proactive person and he had a lot to achieve and that's what made me feel very sad because he prepared his space in his beautiful studio and he was going to do so much with it and now he won't be able to and I'm also wondering what happened to his dog Ozone. I hope he will be all right because I know that Shabadoo invested a lot of time and training and love into his dog too. So for all of the you people who have made it this far, I can't even believe how and why, but thank you. I mean, I know why, because of this wonderful man, not because of me. And um, cause, oh my gosh, what I'm saying, I know I can't imagine would be interesting to anyone, but thank you for respecting and loving Shabadoo. Please continue to keep his legacy alive to tell your kids and other young generations who he was and to keep reminding them that he was a beautiful person until the end I will never get his handsomeness when I first saw him in the movies and until now at the age of 65 he was still such a fine looking gorgeous man I will always love you Shabadoo thanks guys